Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, there's a common misconception out that I want to quickly eratify, uh, so you may be, so you may be better informed of what SD is. And HD and what is and its relation to cone area. Uh, SD and TS parameter stands for speaker diaphragm. Speaker diaphragm is what's what's actually impacting the air. Most of you look at that cone area chart, and it says the eight inch has fifty square inches of cone area. The only eight inch that has fifty square inches of cone area out on the market today is the DD. SW2508. Reason why? Because it has an 8 inch cutout. And when you take the radius times the radius times pi, 3.14, you get 50 square inches. That is the only 8 inch subwoofer that has 50 square inches, 50.24. All the rest have a cutout of 7 and 3 eighths. 7 and 3 eighths. Which means you got to take half of that, multiply it by a pi, and you're going to get 31. It all depends on the cutout and the width of the surround. Because you're going to use half of the surround. Let me show you an example. I got my old trusty sun down here. <clears throat> the cone area is not from here to here. Nor is the cone area from the inside of the surround, outside of the surround, to the other side outside of the surround. No. The cone area is the midway point between the surround from one end to the other. On the 7 and 3 eighths cutout subwoofer, 8 inch, you're gonna that's gonna vary depending on the width of the surround between 31 or between 29 to 33 square inches. What's actually impacting the air is not 50 inches. It's not 50 inches. 50 square inches when they take the, uh, they take eight <laughs> on them cone area charts y'all use on the internet. They actually taking what the, the, the amber of the sub class is in, half of the radius multiplying by pi and tail, that's the cone area. That's not the case. It's what's actually moving and impacting the air. It's gonna vary between 29 and 33 square inches, 33 on the high end. The SA, Eight has, I believe, 32. If you disbelieve, because I always tell you to fact check on it and then find it yourself, why don't you call Jacob or Brian Chamberlain at sundown? And they'll tell you exactly what the SD is, what's actually impacting the air. Or look at the TS parameters on any website. Yeah, you can look at, I mean, J Audio. I think theirs is 33 too. It's, no, it's a little bit more because they actually go over they actually go over the mountain gasket with their surrounds to increase the cone area. Every manufacturer is trying to increase the cone area because why cone area is king? Whoever moving the most air is the loudest. Point blank period. Whether you like it, <laughs> disagree with it, find out, oh my God, did I, what I thought is not true, it's fact. When you look at the cone area of a square subwoofer, same thing applies. You do not count from here to here. Nor do you count from the ins outside of the surround to the other side of the outside. You go halfway on the surround to the other side. Since it's square, you take the length, the width time height, and multiply it. And that's your cone area. That's how you get cone area. I don't know if some of you didn't do area and didn't take geometry in high school. <laughs> But area of a square is length time, width time height, or whatever. Or length time height, whatever. It's just two numbers multiplied together. With a circle, it's the radius squared times 3.14. With that being said, yes, it's more cone area on the square than around. That does not make it better. Just because well, it does move more air than around subwoofer. But that's just a fact. That's just a fact. SD 
is what's impacting the air, the speaker diaphragm. Look up the word diaphragm. I'm assuming since you're on this channel, you know what speaker means. Look at the word diaphragm. Apparatus, membrane, that's, that, that is one continual unit. And when it relates to a subwoofer, that's what's actually impacting the air. There's only one eight inch out that has 50 square inches, and that's the DDSW2508. I think they brought the price down to $400 now. Uh, the next in line is the Kicker 8, 43 square inches. All the rest with a 73 8 cutout, all the rest with a 73 8 or 7 and a quarter cutout are varying between 29 and 33 square inches. Fact, knack, fiction. Like it or love it, hate it or leave it. It don't make no difference. MBE, baby, get him if you need a box. You know what time it is. You know what I do. Peace.